What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I want to talk about ESO Plus and is it worth it in 2021. I've even had this question recently in my guild on here on PS4. People asking, should they get ESO Plus? Should they buy Grey Moor, you know, kind of upgrade edition from last year, uh, you know, from last year's chapter, you know, that's been on sale in the PlayStation Store over the last few days. Should they just wait for Blackwood and buy some type of upgrade edition with it? A lot of people have been talking about this. I know a lot of new players out there may be kind of confused exactly what comes with ESO Plus. So today I kind of want to make a video talking about that, kind of give you my thoughts about it. Let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Um, the first thing is ESO Plus, of course, is a monthly membership. You do not have to have it to play the game. It is just an optional thing. So you do not have to have it to play. So just if you are new, just be aware of that. But one thing that you do get with ESO Plus is 1,650 crowns monthly. So every month that you're a member, you will get 1,650 crowns. The other things that come with ESO Plus, of course, are all uh, access to all DLC game packs with an exception of one thing I'll talk about here in a second. Free crowns from the in-game store, like I said. Access to the crafting bag, which is, in my opinion, probably one of the best things about this. Uh, you can get an unlimited crafting bag. So if you're a person that likes to pick up a lot of mats, if you'd like to... Uh, you know, try to save these things because maybe you want to make a crafting character later. You all know it only stacks to, you know, 200 per stack in, in, in your bank. So let's go for an example. If you have some Ancestor Silk, you do not have ESO Plus. You have several stacks of it. You know, you have a thousand or whatever on you. You're going to have those individual stacks of 200 in your uh, bank space or on your character or whatever the case may be. Some people like to make, you know, kind of mule style characters to just put their farming material on if they don't have ESO Plus. I have done that in the past when I have not had ESO Plus myself. But the great thing about the crafting bag is it has unlimited storage space. So all of those all, all of those crafting materials that you can get in game, everything that you can imagine will go into that crafting bag. Uh, it has unlimited space in it, so you can have stacks of thousands and thousands and thousands of things. Uh, it is ESO Plus is almost worth it for that, in my opinion. If you are a fan of crafting and picking up mats, selling mats, farming mats, whatever the case may be, uh, so that's just a, a, a really good benefit, in my opinion. Also, you get double bank space, bonus to progression, so you get like certain XP boost for having ESO Plus. Increased uh, furniture placement limits in your home, which is still, in my opinion, is not enough. I think furniture, we need a different kind of system, I think, with furniture in homes. Some of these homes are so big, only allow you to put like, let's just say, for example, 700 items in your home. A lot of the homes look a little bit empty in spots because 700 items in a home is, is not a lot when it comes to the size of some of these homes we do have available. Uh, you get the option to dye some of your, uh, you know, different uh, outfits uh, you have collected over the years. So you can go to the dye station, dye those for free. Double transmute capacity, so you have actually the option to hold up to a thousand transmute uh, crystals at a time. And of course, exclusive access to unique crown store deals, uh, like the skin or the polymorph that I have on here. Of course, you guys know that it went on sale a few days ago in the crown store. If you are an ESO Plus member. Uh, you got a little bit of a discount on it. So they do the different things like that every month. You know, you'll get a discount on certain items within the store if you do own ESO Plus. You can get ESO Plus for one month, three months, six months, or 12 months. Um, when it comes to the one exception, uh, we'll kind of get into that part. When it comes to DLC, everything that is available in the game right now is included in ESO Plus except with the exception of Greymore. Uh, Greymore, of course, is the big story chapter from last year. It will not be available in ESO Plus until this summer. When Blackwood is released, Greymore will be added into ESO Plus because Blackmore will, uh, or Blackwood, excuse me, will be the uh, chapter for the year, and then Blackwood will be not available in ESO Plus till next year. So the one big story chapter that comes out every year is the only thing that's not available with ESO Plus. So what is available with ESO Plus would be Stonethorn, Harrowstorm, Dragonhold, Scale, uh, Scalebreaker, Elsewhere. Uh, Wrathstone, Somerset, Merkmire, Wolf Hunter, Dragon Bones, Clockwork City, Horns of Reach, Morrowind, Shadows of the Hist, Dark Brotherhood, Thieves Guild, Arisium, and of course Imperial City, but Imperial City is now free in the store for everyone. Like I said, the only thing that you're going to be missing out with with ESO Plus, if you purchase it, you don't own, uh, you know, you don't own Greymore, would be that Greymore expansion. Now, like I said, if you wanted to wait, if you wanted to play Greymore, but you're like, I want to buy ESO Plus or gray mower. Uh, either way you go, you're going to have some really good options there for a lot of content, but with ESO Plus, you're going to get all the content in the game besides gray mower. So you could wait till summer uh, when Blackwood is released, uh, and then gray mower will be available in that ESO Plus as well, so you have a chance to play it. So just keep in mind, the only thing that's not added in is the one big story chapter that comes out every summer. So Blackwood won't be available in ESO Plus until next year after it releases. Gray mower will take its place to kind of that same process year in and year out. 
So overall, I think, uh, you know, some of the benefits are really good. Like if, if you're looking to rank characters up, you know, that 10% experience gain, that 10% increase to gold, that 10% increase to crafting inspiration gains, that 10% increase to trait research rates is really nice if you're a crafter. Like I said, it really is nice. You know, the gold, 10% increase in gold is not a crazy amount when you're out, you know, just doing activities and picking up gold. But that 10% increase to gold and 10% increase to experience does help out a lot as well. So overall, I, I think it is a good thing if you plan on playing the game for a long period of time. If you're a person that, you know, just plays, you know, a couple days here and there, you don't play a whole lot, maybe just a handful of days a month. I'm not sure if you're going to get a big benefit out of ESO+. Plus. If you're a person that plays a lot, though, you play, you know, several days a week, every day, whatever the case may be, several several hours a day, or if this is the only game you do play, if you're looking for a lot of bang for your buck, it, it's definitely going to be worth it. Now, you can buy all these DLCs separately with crowns, with real money, that kind of thing. Uh, it probably is going to be very expensive to begin with unless you can get them all on sale, like in some big pack, you know, maybe on the PlayStation Store, or Xbox Store, you know, on PC, whatever the case may be. But overall, I really just do enjoy ESL Plus. Mainly, like I said, one reason is for that crafting bag. But you do get access to all this DLC. And you get access to a lot of other great stuff, too. I know not everyone can afford it every single month. Uh, that is perfectly understandable. I know the real world comes first when it comes to money. But overall, if you can't afford it, you are a new player. You're interested in it. Hopefully, this video helped you out. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. Check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. My affiliate link along with a 5% discount code is linked down in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time.